What's up team? My name's Ben from Fitting Room and welcome back to Movement of the Month Club with Well and Good. In this workout, we have six movements and we're focusing on core conditioning. Focusing on your endurance is gonna to help to improve your overall work capacity. So whether you're trying to build athletic performance or building strength, hopefully after doing some of these workouts, you'll be able to accumulate more repetitions in everything else that you do. So let's talk about the six movements that we're gonna do. The first one is going to be the hollow hold. I want you to get set up by giving yourself a hug on the ground so your shoulders are up and your hips are up. So now our abs are engaged, we're gonna extend our arms and our legs. And as the name suggests, we're gonna hold it. If you need to, you can always bring the hands forwards or bring one leg in as an adjustment. Our second exercise is gonna be a single leg V-up. So we're gonna start with both legs on the ground. We're gonna reach opposite hand to opposite foot as we fo bring our body off the floor first. That's one, then we'll switch. And I want you to reach as far towards your toes as you can on every rep. From there, we'll bring our feet close together and we're gonna do a full sit up. So we need to bring chest all the way to your knees. So reach those arms backwards, big exhale as you come up to the top and then we're gonna slowly lower yourself down one vertebrae at a time, resetting back to the floor, that big reach to get that big stretch. And for the sit up, the closer you bring your feet, the harder the exercise is gonna be. So challenge yourself appropriately and make adjustments as you need to. Our third exercise is gonna be the cross body hold. You're gonna lay down into this tabletop position. We're gonna take the right hand across onto the left knee. Left hand reaches to the corner of the room and right leg extends out in front. I want you to push the knee and the hand together. It's like a tug of war. The hand is pushing, the knee is pushing, the hand is pushing, the knee is pushing. And we're gonna hold this. During our workout, one round we'll do one side and then the next round we'll do the other side. So don't worry, I haven't forgotten about doing the other side when we get to the workout. Exercise number four is a Russian twist. You're gonna start in this seated position, and the further you lay backwards, the harder you're gonna make this. We're gonna lift the toes to keep our weight in through our hips, and we're gonna rotate our shoulders, our elbows, our hands as close to the ground as possible, and then big rotation, like we're drawing a nice, beautiful rainbow from one hip across the body to the other. And then the last one is a sprinter sit-up. Our legs are extended. We're gonna drive one foot into the floor as you sit up quickly, twisting your elbow to the opposite knee and then dropping back down. There's a big clue in the name. It's called a sprinter sit up. So I want you to snap up off the floor as quickly as possible and add that big twist at the top. So those are our six different movements. The way that our workout is going to be structured is we're gonna do each movement back to back to back to back to back to back on a running clock for 20 seconds each. Once we've successfully completed all six exercises, we'll get a 30 second break and we're gonna do this four times through. So again, the goal of this workout is to focus on consistency. You wanna be able to maintain your effort across all four rounds so we can improve our work capacity. Are you ready to go? Awesome. So let's start with that hollow hold. Give yourself a big hug at the top. Take a deep breath, are you ready? Let's get this kicked off in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. So let's extend those arms and the legs, hold it. Now remember, you can always bring those hands forwards. You can always bring one knee in. We just want to make sure the head and shoulders are up, the chin is stuck, and you feel your lower back pressing into the ground. So if you need to do a little self-assessment. All right, we got three, two, one. Legs down, left hand to right foot. So remember, we're on a running clock. But this first round, we can treat it as a chance to familiarize yourself with the order of the sequence. So just trust me, if I've got anything you need and everything you want, I'll give you all the information as we come to it. So five seconds, feet down. We've got sit-ups in three, two, one. Remember the further the legs are extended, the easier it's gonna be for the sit-up. So maybe on this first round, keep your legs extended. And then if you have a good experience, we can challenge ourselves to add a little bit more pep in our step next time. Okay, we're gonna go to that cross body hold, right hand on the left knee in three, two, one. Right hand on the left knee, left hand reaches down, extend that right leg for me. Don't forget to breathe on this one. I need the knee pushing in, the hand pushing away. You've got eight seconds. We're gonna be coming up and twisting our body in that Russian twist in three, two, one. Here we go, toes lift. Rotate that body. Nice big rainbow shape. So notice how I'm following 
my hands with my head. That's gonna help me to rotate my shoulders and really get deep into those oblique muscles. We're gonna lay down, we're gonna finish with a sprint in three, two, one. Here we go, all the way up, big twist. Lay back down, up, every rep. Can you get off the ground a little bit more quickly, please? 10 seconds. Let's hear that breath. With me, one more. Three, two, one. Whew. But now you realize it's not as bad as you thought. We still do have three rounds. So again, pace yourself as we go through the different movements. At this time, when we do the cross body, it's gonna be left hand on that right knee. We're gonna do the opposite side. Okay, so we're coming up to our final 10 seconds rest. The first exercise is gonna be that hollow hold. So let's come down to the ground. Let's give ourselves a big hug. Let's get ready to extend everything away in three, two, one, let's go. So I want you to really extend your fingertips away, your heels away. Remember, always that option to bring the knee forward or the hands forward. I want you to feel your ab muscles working as hard as possible. All right, three, two, one, single leg V up. This is a tough combo because we're using those same muscles that we just hit in the hollow hold. So use those arms, big reach forwards. Doing a great job. Are you ready for sit-ups? In three, two, one. Maybe bring your feet a little bit closer this time. Sit all the way up, reach forward, control yourself down. Now it's really important you focus on your breathing. Exhale on the effort. Inhale down. Remember left hand to right knee in five. Left hand to right knee, cross body hold in three, two, one. We need to really reach that right hand to the corner of the room so we rotate that body, press the hand into the knee, extend the heel. We're gonna be coming into an upright position for that Russian twist, fight for it, fight for it. We got three, two, one. Here we go, lift those toes, create that nice, beautiful rainbow shape. Again, the further you lean back, the harder you make this exercise. In five seconds, we're gonna finish off with those sprinter sit-ups. We're going out with a bang. In three, two, one, let's go. So really digging the heel into the floor of the leg that's extended. 10 seconds. Let's get two more. Three, two, one, time. If you need to, maybe we flip over and just get a little stretch into those hips, into those abs. Do whatever you feel you need. Okay, the good news is we're halfway there. And we wanna focus on consistency. So the hardest option isn't always the best option. We got 10 seconds. I know it feels like the rest time is going by very quickly, but I promise you, it's the same, same time. We're going hollow hold in three, two, one, let's go. So I'm gonna extend one leg out. I find that this makes it easier for me to really brace and focus on my abdominals. We're gonna go for that single leg V up. Again, this is a tough combo. In three, two, one. Here we go, both legs down, use that hand. Take a second on the way down. The magic is happening as we drive up and we contract those ab muscles. So don't be in too much of a rush to get to your next rep. Three, two, one, both heels down, sit all the way up. This one's a little bit easier, so good chance for us to get a little bit of a break. Really driving those feet down. Five seconds, right hand to left knee. Three, two, one. Here we go, left hand reaches down. Again, this one is tough, just like the hollow hold, the isometrics. With these ones, there's nowhere to hide. We've got five seconds. We're sitting up for those Russian twists in three, two, one. Let's go. So again, this one is a little bit easier. Really focus on trying to drive that elbow 
right behind you. So if there's 12 was above and six was behind you on a clock, we're trying to rotate our body to those two times. Okay, you ready for sprinters crunches in three, two, one, let's go. Ten seconds. Here we go, team. Five. Let's get it. Three, two, one. Time. So I've got good news and bad news. The good news, we're just doing this one more time. The bad news, we're doing this one more time. So again, adjust on the hollow hold, adjust on the press. Yeah, this is our victory lap. It's a celebration of all the hard work that we've done. The goal here again is consistent work time, acquiring new skills, create a safe environment for you to learn. All right, I'm sorry, not sorry. We've got hollow hold in three, two, one. Let's go. So it's the last time I did my right knee in, uh, sorry, my left. This time I'm doing my right. But again, adjust if you need to. This is your workout. Okay, you ready for that single leg V up? This one's gonna be tough in three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, I think I need to have a word with whoever wrote this program. Oh, even I'm finding this tough. Here we go, five seconds. Three, two, one. Both feet down. All the way up for that sit up. So take your breath. We're getting ready for that cross body. This time left goes across to the right. Right hand reaches to the corner of the room in three, two, one. Here we go. We're coming down that home straight now. If any of you are runners like me, we're at 13 miles on our half marathon, point one to go. No matter how bad you feel, you can always find a little extra. All right, you ready? Russian twist, three, two, one. Here we go, big twist, lean back, lift those toes. Really driving those elbows, twisting that body, rotating your head and your shoulders. All right, I need to feel the energy. We're about to go out with our sprinters crunches in three, two, one, let's go. So now you're working against the clock. 10 seconds. I say every rep counts. Say one more deep breath. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, damn. Really, really amazing job. So let's flip over. Let's have a little stretch. Again, that was a lot of continuous time working those same muscles, which was why it was meant to be challenging. But still requires us to put that time and effort in. Let's sit back into that child's pose. Stretch that lower back. Wow. Really fantastic job. Thank you for spending this time with me. My name is Ben from Fishing Room and this has been Movement of the Month Club with Well and Good. If you want more workouts with me, then make sure you subscribe.